Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBPNet video series on C++ and this video, as I promised, is about where you use move constructor. So, we all know that, okay, it is very fancy, you will try to move the object instead of copying if it is having a very heavy data, like maybe if it is pointing to some very big file, I mean, I mean, if it is holding some pointers, then you would want to move it. So what is the actual use case? And if you will watch till the end, I will give you a bonus, one extra keyword you can use with this and it will help you with the containers and all. So let's start this video. So this is your move constructor. And yeah, before this, we have watched what is move constructor and why it is important. So if you have not watched that video, please go ahead and watch that video first. So in my experience, the biggest use case of move constructor is when you use containers in C++, like this is a vector and it is a container. And we all know that how vector works. Vector is kind of a dynamic array. So if you see this, I have asked reserve two elements. So this vector will be prepared for two elements. The moment I will insert extra, I mean the third element, it will have to increase its capacity. So it was born with the capacity of two, but the moment I tried to insert third, it won't tell me no. What it will do, it will double its capacity, like now it will make four, and then whatever is already inserted in them, it will copy to the new array. It will do all these things internally, okay? And it will copy into the new array and then go ahead. So that copy thingy is really very costly if you don't pay much attention. So as I said, the best use case scenario will go with the container. So if you are going to make this temporary object here and you're going to pass this to the vector saying that, okay, take this object. So there are two things happening here. First is this simple object is getting constructed here. And after it is constructed, it will be pushed to vector. Okay. Now that push part you can control using move. So if you have given this move constructor, which is very important, if you have some pointer related data, then you should use move in containers because unnecessarily copy will happen. I'll show you that. So if this is your program and let's suppose we are not having this move constructor. Let me compile this and run this. If you now look at the results, it says, constructor is called and then copy constructor is called. So let's understand why it is costly if this move constructor is not there and the scenario is you have pointers in your class. So this one statement will end up calling kernel two time, meaning this new operator is being called two time. First, when you created this object. Second, when you copied the object. So we can see here constructor is being called for the first time construction, you see that constructor called for data one and then copy constructor called for the same data one. Okay, this guy. So copy is also having this new keyword which will end up calling the kernel asking for the heap memory. And then destructor is called obviously because you have to destroy this temporary created object. So it's a wastage of time, right? And wastage of effort. Why would you do that? So now just remember you had constructor called copy constructor call and then destructor call. Destructor will still be called in case of move also. But as you have initialized data is equal to null pointer, the destructor will first check if it is not null pointer, then only it will go and delete. So that way it is guarded. But actual int, I mean, new integer will not be called. So that way we will just save one kernel call. So now if I will just bring this copy, sorry, move constructor back. And if I'll compile this and execute this, now you notice constructor called move constructor called. So in that case, move is not calling any new operator. We are just simply moving. In that case, we are saving so much of time. And the destructor is being called for this temporary object, but it ends up doing nothing here. It's just printing it, okay? because data is actually pointing to null pointer. We modified that. So this is one point. We see that, see that, okay, the move constructor is being called here, but there is a problem. Now comes to the bonus point here. The problem is if you see this bottom line, oh yeah, let me just show you this guy first. So we reserved 
two numbers i mean two elements to be inserted we inserted two elements now it is full the moment you will try to insert the third element it will have to resize itself so i know it is going to resize itself so i am printing it and then i will push third element for which it doesn't have any space now it will double the size of itself and then copy the previous data so just notice that i am telling copy here it is calling the copy constructor for second and one to be copied to the new resized array this is happening internally so you will not see this but as we have printed so we are seeing all these information now for third element it managed to move because move constructor is there but for rest of the things like for second and one because it has to copy all the previous data also into the new array right it is still using the copy constructor and we don't want that so now here comes the bonus point of this video you have to tell no accept meaning you will tell to the compiler that okay there is no way it will throw an exception then it is safe for containers to use move constructor instead of copy constructor so now if i will compile and run you will notice they all are moved so move constructor is called for two and one also so this is very important try to understand if you miss the point if you will put no exception here compiler will think it is safe for me to use move constructor when i rearrange the content of the container whatever it may be vector or whatever it is or if it is copying from the old container to the new container then in that case it is safe to use this instead of this i mean safe to use move constructor instead of copy constructor because you know it will never throw and it is a disaster if your container is doing something internally and your system throws an error so that's why they safeguard themselves by straight away going through this copy constructor if you don't put this no exception so it's a signal to the compiler or to the system that okay it's safe for you to use this when you rearrange the element in the container then please use move constructor it will be very fast because you know that okay sometime we tend to use like maybe thousands and thousands of data like sometime millions of data into the vector and then it will resize itself by 2 million or 3 million then you end up copying all the data and that data may contain the pointer related stuff and then you will call the kernel for each and every element in the array and it is going to be a big pain for your runtime of the program so i think i made my point clear here so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button man thanks for watching i'll see you in the next videos bye bye